Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoor. Today I have something really special to show you, something really cool that I've had for a little while, uh, but I thought it's you know the perfect time to show you all and and uh, see what you think, and uh, you know hopefully it's something that uh, will keep you entertained at least for a few minutes. So let's dive in. So as you may be able to tell from the box, this is a Kimber Polymer Pro Carry STS. So I've had this pistol for a little while. It was given to me. Um, it's a very, very nice um, piece of equipment uh, or a tool, however you want to call it. It is um, unloaded, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. So it's a 1911, but it's not just any 1911. This is a very special 1911 because, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit wider than most 1911s at the grip. It is a, a double stack 1911. So let me change the camera angle so I can show it to you a little bit better. So this is it. It looks uh, pretty pretty similar to a, I guess, a, a Commander uh, 1911. Excellent sights. Uh, pretty much like any other Kimber that is about the same size. But like I said, the main difference is that it is a double stack uh, carry. So uh, these are, uh, they come with three magazines. From what I understand, these were made in the early um, 90s, like 92, 93 maybe. They were actually made by a company uh, from Israel called BUL or BUL, um, and this is pretty much the same as your M5 pistol. Uh, from what I understand, it was imported to the United States under different uh, companies, one of them being Kimber, and the other one being, uh, I think, Charge Daily, and a couple of different other ones. Uh, they were very, very... Uh, popular back when they came out but uh, for some reason they never really caught on and they really didn't quite uh, stay uh, popular for a long time uh, as you can tell it's got a, a flared uh, mag wheel so these would be perfect for any kind of uh, competition or competitive uh, shooting any of that nature uh, it's an excellent firearm it's actually one of the most accurate pistols that I have those sides are just perfect these are um, I believe these are replacement or uh, aftermarket size they're tritium so they're night sights um, these were replaced uh, later on so um, it's yeah like I was saying is one of my most uh, accurate shooters it's got a skeletonized hammer uh, excellent uh, trigger and of course it's got your uh, you know like any 9 to 11 everything is it's uh, essentially 1911 pretty much except for the grip uh, traditional 1911 the body or the frame it's um mostly polymer but it also has some pieces uh, steel pieces on the inside as you can tell i've kind of modified this uh, trigger guard uh, just to help it uh, fit in one of the uh, leather holsters that i have because i couldn't actually find a holster for it yeah it's got the uh Thumb safety on one side. There it is. And I'm pretty sure it's, it wouldn't be too hard to modify for a um, ambidextrous safety. I'm a right hand shooter, so I have no need for that. Um, but yeah, there it is. This is the stainless steel model. And I think they also came in a completely black slide and uh, also like a, a slightly different finish, almost like a gunmetal finish. But let me show you the trigger because this is one of the best things about the 1911 platform. Even though this is a polymer trigger, it still has a very, very excellent trigger. So watch this. Little take up. Tiny, tiny bit. And that's it. Again. Small amount of take up. I would say almost a couple millimeters. Put a little bit more pressure. And that's it. So very little travel, excellent accurate trigger. I like it. So let's take it apart just to kind of show you some of the internals. All right, now the one thing that you do need to have is one of these. It's essentially uh, <laughs> your uh, paper clip that has been stretched and also uh, bent the tip at a 90 degree angle. I know they made or they make uh, specialized tools to um, you know do the job but uh, if you have a 1911 and it doesn't have the little plate I can't remember what it's called but the one that turns and then you remove the uh, guide rod and spring then obviously uh, you need to have something that will let you um, do what I'm about to do so for that we're gonna lock this light back 
we find that little tiny hole right in there. We put the paper clip in, we drop the slide forward or release the spring. We line this up and then on the other side, we're gonna press on that um, takedown pin. Takedown pin comes out, set it aside, then we slide it forward. So I'm gonna put the slide aside and I'm gonna show you the internals of the frame. So pretty decent rail, everything is stainless steel. And uh, as you can tell, um, this uh, feet ramp has been actually polished. Um, from what I understand, when my father-in-law uh, originally purchased this, he was having a hard time um, with it being reliable. So he um, he did a couple modifications. I think one of them, or the main one, being uh, polishing the feet ramp because it was a little rough, um, a little hard to to feed accurately and in in uh, you know cycle the way it was supposed to. But anyway, I'm going to put that aside. <clears throat> this is the slide. So we're going to push this back. Remove, remove the guy rod and spring. Again, this is all stainless steel. Excellent, excellent uh, craftsmanship. Very, very good quality uh, built. Uh, of course, I don't know how much of it is from the BUL. Uh, manufacturing process and how much it is from the uh, camber manufacturing process now this is uh, stamped as you can tell camber um, and of course the uh, frame is stamped uh, camber yonkers new york uh, is that new york yes it is um, so anyway i don't know how much of that is by uh, camber or if they just imported the the whole firearm as it is and they just stamped it in those two uh, different places and if it was all just made by um, uh, BUL or Bull from uh, Israel but anyway uh, excellent uh, this is not super heavy even though it's uh, stainless steel I mean being a, a short or a, a commander um, length is is not not super heavy uh, it's, it's not super cumbersome or anything like that the one thing that does make it heavy is obviously these um double stack magazines now you may be wondering how much or how many rounds can you fit in this well let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that's right it's a 14 round magazine for 1911 45 acp uh, caliber ammunition so excellent carrying capacity um i guess from the name of it it was meant to be a carry weapon um but it never be became like super super popular for people to carry it i don't know of very many of them i haven't seen very uh many youtube videos uh you can see a little bit of the rifling i try to keep it clean uh I shoot it every now and then. Um, 45 ACP is not my preferred or my favorite caliber. I have small hands, so it does have a good amount of recoil, um, but it's actually one of the most accurate pistols that I own. All right, let's try to put it back together. So I'm gonna start with the slide. We're gonna put our barrel back in, and this is a bull barrel. Obviously, if you are uh, familiar with these type of barrels, and we got our recoil spring, got rod. Okay. And we got our frame. It's kind of hard to do it behind the camera. There we go. I'm gonna push it back. Make sure that all this is lined up. All right, now that we have it lined up or pretty close to being lined up, grab our takedown lever. Just kind of wiggle it through there. Make sure it's lined up with this right here. There we go. Press it down. All right, now we lock the slide back. Remove our 
makeshift tool and drive the slide forward and checking function so pretty quick once you've done it you know two or three times you get pretty familiar with the way it functions the way it works um just like uh pretty much any other 1911 so really the only difference is the polymer frame difference number one and difference number two is the uh, super thick grip because it's a double stack so anyway guys there you have it again the bul um, slash kimber uh, polymer pro carry excellent firearm super accurate super nice um, very very easy to to shoot uh, even though it's got a little bit uh, of recoil like any 45 acp does and of course you know it's a uh, it's a good option if you can find one of these um, i would definitely suggest you get one of them if you're into 1911s of course double stack uh, capacity makes it a very very interest uh, interesting firearm so so there you have it guys as always don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe uh, please check us out on facebook muddy tiger outdoors we'll see you guys uh, in the next video take care